Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about elastic collision. Now what exactly do we understand by elastic collision? When two objects collide with each other and it changes its shape for temporary basis and again it regains its shape and size after the collision, then such type of collision is called as elastic collision. So let us take a very wonderful and a very basic example of elastic collision. You all have played lawn tennis or if not played, you all have seen the game of lawn tennis. In this game, what exactly the player does? He hits the tennis ball with the help of his racket. But you find it very easy that it is only change in momentum or application of force. But I am going to say this collision between the racket and the ball is an elastic collision. Don't you believe me? Let us see this in a slow motion. So, if you are going to see when bat hits the ball, if you are going to see it in slow motion, the ball actually compresses. So, there is change in the shape and size of the ball as seen in the video. So, you can see it is almost becoming flat but after gaining some momentum, ball is again going in the backward direction with the help of Newton's third law of motion and again gaining its original shape and size. So, this type of collision is called as elastic collision where the object gains its original shape and size even after the collision. 